A leak of the S26 Ultra cover suggests improvements in design. Though Samsung has not yet provided confirmation, but case photos suggest camera modifications and QI2 style charging that might actually make a difference. Despite the fact that the S26 Ultra is still months away from introduction, an early case listing may have given us a preview of what Samsung's 2026 flagship will look like and what it might offer. Early case listing teases features and design. In addition to providing a protective shell, Casemaker Thinborn's latest listing for the S26 Ultra gives us a preview. Also teases certain important features, including the camera placement and support for faster wireless charging, and also displays some of the phone's design elements. As you can see from the pictures, the well-known triple lens vertical camera arrangement is back, but it's now hidden inside a sizable island in the shape of a pill. It's a little but perceptible change in design that supports earlier rumors. The information also highlights wireless charging in the QI2 and MagSafe styles. In the center is a precisely positioned magnetic ring that enhances charging alignment, speed, and accessory compatibility. Samsung excluded the built-in magnets for complete QI2 support from the S25 Ultra because they interfere with the S Pen, despite the device being marked as QI2 ready. Although it may be related to the rumored S Pen revamp, it is yet unclear how the firm intends to circumvent this. It's difficult to say for sure whether QI2 charging will actually be fully supported until we see additional leaks or Samsung confirms the information. The S26 series would eventually join the iPhone 17 lineup and the Google Pixel 10 series, which already supports QI2. 1. Improvements both inside and out, but no significant alterations. Though the company appears to be making minor adjustments here and there, but the S26 Ultra isn't trying to reinvent the wheel in terms of appearance. Not much is anticipated to change much under the hood either. There are rumors that the phone will have a brighter, more energy-efficient screen. At least in the United States, it should also make its debut with the latest both the Exynos and Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 processor in selected areas. Battery life should stay consistent, using the well-known 5000 mAh cell. We're probably going to see a combination of new and old cameras, with a 50 megapixel sensor and identical specifications, the telephoto lens appears to be keeping stable. However, the primary camera may receive a significant upgrade, with a bigger 1-slash-1.1-inch Sony sensor replacing the 200 megapixels one. In keeping with Apple's rumored decision to incorporate a variable aperture into the iPhone 18 Pro models, there is also talk that Samsung may revive the feature for its flagship series. It appears that the debut is approaching because case makers are already listing S26 Ultra cases. Samsung may postpone the release till March, according to some rumors, although nothing is confirmed. Given that case makers are currently getting ready, a January launch still appears highly likely. Naturally, additional leaks and rumors will surface as the months pass, keeping us in suspense until Samsung officially announces it. The next S26 Ultra will be the first Ultra model from Samsung to not come with a Snapdragon chip in every area in four years. Samsung is finally bringing back Exynos for the S26 Ultra next year, following years of selling Ultra variants with solely Snapdragon processors. This is unquestionably a huge victory for everyone considering purchasing this phone, not just the business and its foundry. Why? Easy. The Exynos 2600 chipset outperforms all of its competitors, including Apple and Snapdragon Silicon. 2. A comeback with the S26 Ultra The S26 Ultra comes with some contentious design modifications, but a return to Exynos means a return to form. Since the S22 Ultra in 2022, an Exynos processor has not been found in an Ultra variant. There are numerous causes behind this, but the three main ones are as follows. 1. Exynos processors continue to operate more slowly. 2. There have been heating issues with Exynos processors. 3. Samsung Foundry has previously experienced yield issues. That is all going to change though, because the S26 Ultra will come with the Exynos 2600 in some areas. Additionally, customers who purchase the Exynos variant will be the fortunate ones for what may be the first time in history. 
The Exynos 2600 offers a significant advantage over existing 3 nanometer chipsets because it was designed by Samsung Foundry utilizing its 2 nanometer manufacturing process. Benchmarks and performance ratings that have been leaked indicate that the Exynos 2600 outperforms Apple's existing A19 Pro, which powers the iPhone 17 Pro. When it comes to AI processing, the Exynos 2600 outperforms the A19 Pro by a staggering six times. Additionally, it outperforms Apple's chip by 15% in multi-core performance and by about 75% in graphics processing. And if that wasn't enough, the Exynos 2600 is superior to the newest and greatest Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, which is now found in premium smartphones of the highest caliber. The Exynos 2600 outperforms the Snapdragon chip by 30% in AI processing and by 29% in graphics processing. Of course, the Exynos chip's development has been greatly aided by the switch to 2 nanometer architecture, and this could be the victory that Samsung Foundry has been seeking for years. So that's all we know for now. We'll be sure to keep you updated as soon as we have more information. Thanks for watching.